Hey guys, Priyanka from Woodland Seeker Realty. So guess what kind of questions I have been getting lately. Everybody wants to know if you are buyer's market or seller's market. It's when people read the national newspapers, right? And uh, CNN and Wall Street Journal and every other major news channel or newspaper is talking about how it has been seller's market and it's getting a little bit softer, but sellers are still getting uh, their home sold fast. They're getting over asking price. Nothing applies to us. We are so oil dependent. Then since oil has been down from 2015, 16, 17 and 18, we have been down in the real estate market because it's directly related. If we oil industry is not hiring, new jobs are not being produced, new people are not moving in, there are not many buyers out there, right? So it's a buyer's market because we have so many homes sitting on the market for a long term. It's a inventory is really high. So any buyer who's moving here from outside has a lot of choices, especially if the homes are a little bit in higher end. So anything above 300,000 to 500, 500 to 800,000 million, anything. Most of those homes are being bought or usually um, are bought by people who are working in oil industry, medical industry, professionals who are coming in from outside or even in the community um, because they're getting their promotions, they want to upsize a home kind of thing and that hasn't been happening. In 2018, we saw oil started to go up and we saw a little shift in the market but then Thanksgiving, Christmas came along and oil prices went down again and so did uh, home prices. We have a lot of sellers who want to sell their homes because they bought it in 2013-14 and they are not understanding why they are getting offers that are far less than what they paid for. But this is just nature of the beast. So looking at all that, if you are a seller in a predicament where your home is not selling, you have to realize right now is not the time to get the top dollar for your home. You have a lot of competition from all the homes sitting in the market. Buyers have a lot of choices, right? Or you hold your home. Don't sell it right now. Wait another couple years, two or three years. All market is very predictable. It goes up, it comes down, it goes up, it comes down. So do the home prices. So as all starts to go up, real estate also starts to follow it. It's not side by side. It's a little bit lagged, but it does happen. And I'm pretty sure after all this, years of oil prices being low is going to happen again and prices will go up. So as a seller, I think you should wait. But if you're a buyer, this is the time to buy. I have been, we just had three contracts go in in January and each one of them are below asking. And some places we had appraisals that came up like 10, 15, $20,000 higher than what my buyers are paying. So if you're thinking of buying, if you're thinking of upsizing, this is a great time to buy. If you're thinking of downsizing, selling a bigger home, then you need to wait. So give me a call. And if you want to discuss and see where you guys are, and if it's a good uh, time to buy or sell, or just buy and wait, let me know. And I will be able to give you the answer what you're looking for. So let's talk uh, soon. Give me a call, 832-277-3577. Priyanka from Button Secret Realty.